Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my team-by-team -team NFL draft recaps, analysis, and final grades. This video is for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, the Eagles had eight picks overall in this draft. Uh, the first of those was pick number four overall, which they took Lane Johnson, the tackle out of Oklahoma. Lane Johnson was, Lane Johnson was a left tackle at Oklahoma will start his career at right tackle for the Eagles. They'll move Todd Harriman's into guard. And, you know, it's one of those cases where they get a quality player and it makes them better at two positions, allowing Harriman to move inside the guard. And obviously you have Jason Peters at the left tackle spot already. And, you know, about Lane Johnson, you know, he's very athletic off the charts at the combine with his running and jumping ability was a former quarterback uh, at junior college so not that long ago put on some weight he's 6'6 305 pounds a specimen a good athlete he'll put some strength on here in the next couple of years and I think it'd be an absolute force with the athleticism he'll bring that Chip Kelly up tempo kind of offense pick number 35 was their next pick they took Zach Ertz the tight end from Stanford Ertz is one of those, you know, Chip Kelly, if you watch Oregon the last couple of years, they've been integrating bigger receivers and tight ends into that offense more and more. Ertz gives them the ability to line up not only as a conventional tight end, but also line up wide as well and really cause mismatch problems for, you know, smaller nickelbacks, um, smaller safeties, and slower linebackers. So I like this pick because it gives Kelly what he wants in some cases, and that's mismatches on the field. And you get that with Ertz, who I thought was just a, a very s small notch below Tyler Eifert as far as the tight ends go in this draft. So good value there, pick 35. Pick 67, Benny Logan from LSU. He's a defensive tackle. Uh, I thought this is maybe a little bit too high to take him. The talent is there. There's no doubt about that. But remember, he played in between Sam Montgomery and Kiki Mingo at LSU. So he's always been, always been a part of a good defensive line. More importantly, he's always been a part of a 4-3, so it'll be interesting to see where he fits from a scheme standpoint. I'm not saying he can't play a 3-4. It's just going to be interesting to see how they use him uh, in that, I would have guessed, at the 5 technique there in the 3-4, but we'll see. But uh, if Logan can improve his motor and improve his effort uh, play to play, uh, he can end up being a solid you know, maybe third man in a defensive line rotation, which is not bad there when you get him with the 67th pick. Pick 98 was a, a surprise to many. Matt Barkley, the quarterback from USC. Look, I think Matt Barkley was the best player on the board at the time he got picked, first of all. And secondly, you know, it, it gives even more intrigue to how Chip Kelly plans on running this offense. Is it going to be an offense based around Michael Vick and a Dennis Dixon type quarterbacks or more conventional like a Nick Foles and a Matt Barkley? I think what Chip Kelly's done with this pick of Barkley is give even more questions to the direction this offense is going to go in and um, one fit I do see is that Pat Shermer, the offensive coordinator of the Eagles, uh, runs a West Coast offense, and Matt Barkley was thought to be a fit in that kind of offense. So if you're looking for maybe your fit, that might be where it is. Pick 136, Earl Wolf, free safety from NC State. Uh, he'll compete for a safety spot right away. Uh, one thing about Wolf from his days in North Carolina State, he was the leader of that defense which I think is important. I think that stuff translates. Leadership leadership translates. The fact that he ran a 4-4-40, I think, translates. I think they get a pretty good player here at pick 136 and look for him to be in the mix at the safety spot. If not, you know, nailing down one of those starting jobs, definitely being a quality backup for the Eagles here the next couple seasons. Pick 212, Joe Kruger from Utah, the defensive end. He's the brother of Paul Kruger, now of the Cleveland Browns. Joe Kruger is a conventional defensive end, however not an outside linebacker in the 3-4 like his brother is. Uh, Kruger was a solid defensive end at Utah, not prolific sack numbers, pretty good measurables, definitely worth the pick of 212 here. Pick 218 is where I think the Eagles really got a gem in Jordan Poyer, the cornerback from Oregon State. Jordan Poyer was a very productive player in college as far as intercepting the football goes, seven interceptions uh, while at Oregon State. Also, you know he was thought to go in the, at, in that second day there, the second to fourth round of the draft. He slipped a little bit because his vertical wasn't what you know people like to see from a cornerback. He only had like a 30-inch vertical leap. Uh, his measurables maybe are not off the charts like other people's, but he has a nose for the football. 
He uses his body well. He's a six foot tall corner. And I think he's a guy that's going to probably surprise Eagles fans and compete right away for one of those starting jobs. And if not, give them some serious depth with a guy you pick, you know, in the later rounds, in the seventh round, who I think could end up being a quality addition uh, to their ball club. Pick 239, the last pick, David King, defensive end, Oklahoma. Uh, he's a guy, comes from a big school, uh, played for the Sooners. Look, when you get these, these last picks, you're either going to take a gamble on a small school guy or take a guy to add depth at a position who comes from a big school and hope that you know his upside comes out. A lot of times these guys from big schools, they get taken late. They're big recruits, didn't perform how maybe how, my, how people thought they were going to, and maybe you catch lightning in a bottle and the guy um, develops. So we'll see how that turns out with King. But that's my analysis of the eight picks of the – 2013 draft for the Eagles. Let me know how you think the Eagles did. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Uh, join the conversation here, guys. Hit me up in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, thanks again for listening, and have a great day.